his insights on President Trump's economic agenda is senior advisor Corey Lewandowski. Corey, welcome back to the show. Good morning. You know, I think to Anna's point, there are, every American, every voter at home is wondering, okay, depending on who I choose, how will this impact me? If Trump wins the White House again, what's the first thing everyday Americans will feel changed and alleviated when it comes to our pocketbooks, right? Is it groceries? Is it gas? Is it housing expenses? What's the first thing that would change? It's actually all of it, because if you're on a fixed income and your only source of income is Social Security, you're no longer paying taxes on Social Security. If you're an early worker and you're working in a place where wages are primarily paid through tips, no taxes on tips. And listen, if you want to uh, work hard and put in overtime, Donald Trump's plan says no taxes on overtime. So every person, regardless of whether you're on a fixed income or you want to work extra or you're one of those beginning jobs, gets a benefit under Donald Trump's administration right away so that you can actually have more control of your money. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Corey here to the right of the screen, we're playing this video from uh, that Bloomberg News sit down yesterday. And I wanted to play a bit of sound from it because Trump was confronted about his tariff plans. Um, in that interview with Bloomberg. Its editor-in-chief ran down a list of concerns economists have over the harm the proposal could cause. Um, this was President Trump's reaction to it. It's going to have a massive effect, positive effect. It's going to be a positive, not a negative. Well, we're just, just let, let me just, uh, no, no, let me tell you, me I know how committed you are to this. And it must be hard for you to, you know, spend 25 years talking about tariffs as being negative and then have somebody <laughs> explain to you that you're totally wrong. It'll have a negative, it will have... Yeah, so he got some laughs there, but he issued a dire warning, right? He said this country has no chance. Um, those are really strong words. Can you elaborate more on how dire or pivotal this specific policy would be? Sure, you have to remember, and Americans, unfortunately, have been, uh, have burdened the brunt of this, is other countries don't treat us fairly, particularly as it comes to trade. You know, we've always talked about fair trade and free trade, but it's always free and fair for everybody else except Americans. When was the last time you saw a U.S. car driving around China or Japan? When do you see GMs and, and Fords driving around there? You don't. And the reason is they manufacture them overseas. They come to our country. They put them on our markets, and Americans love those cars, and that's great. But why can't we have reciprocal trade? So what Donald Trump is saying is if you build your plant in the United States, the maximum tax She'll pay is 15%. If you don't, we're going to make it so expensive that you want to bring those jobs here so that Americans can have the opportunity to compete on a global marketplace. That's what tariffs will do, and it's only to benefit the American people. We know the polls do show that more voters trust him with the economy. Also, you know, immigration uh, is his X factor, too. The two, I want to play another bit of sound, but those two clashed once again when Trump was asked about his immigration policies and how that would affect the economy. Take a listen. The issue I asked you about, many companies here have a shortage of labor. Yeah, that's, that's good. We're gonna, that we'll is, take care of that. We're going to get people in here rapidly, and they're going to be people that want to be in here, and they're going to be people that can love our country and won't kill people because they, have, uh, because they don't like the way they look. What's your response to that, Corey, and will there be a ripple effect if Trump goes through with mass deportations? Well, number one, we want, Donald Trump has always said, we want legal immigration. We're a country with, a, you know, a big, beautiful wall we're going to build, but it's going to have a giant door in it. And if you're the right person, the right people to come to this country, and you want to do it legally, of course, Donald Trump wants you. But we've seen 13,099 murderers brought into this country, 16,000 rapists, 425,000 people with criminal convictions led into this country only to, to do damage to American citizens, American cities, our health care system, and everything. Everything else, we just can't continue it. We're the only civilized country in the world that doesn't penalize people for coming into our country illegally. So we're going to fix the system. We're going to build the wall, and Americans are going to be safer because of it. And once we have that system in place, those people who want to come into this country illegally will be welcome with open arms. And before I let you go, Corey, just because I asked Lindy Lee this, she's the Kamala Harris campaign surrogate, uh, as you know. 20 days left. There's calls for both sides to, to cool down the rhetoric. Do you think Trump should lay off his attacks uh, of Kamala Harris in these last 20 days and just focus on policy, you know, with the economy, with immigration? What's your take? Well, we're happy to discuss policy issues, but obviously, you know, Vice President Harris has changed her position so many times, don't really know what her policies are anymore. She was against the border wall before she's for it. She was against no tax on tips before she's for it. You know, so look, if we were to talk policy, when is she actually going to tell us what her real policies are? She's against fracking before she's now for it. So Donald Trump's been very clear. We're happy to talk about policies, but the reality is her policies have been so bad for the American people. That's why they're looking for a change.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.